Hey everyone, I'm Charlene from So So Dressmaking and today I am talking through my plans for Me Made May. Um, this year I want to do something different. So the first year I did it, which was two years ago, I just wanted to wear as many of my Me Made clothes as possible. I'd only just really started sewing for myself and it wasn't all Me Made, but I wanted to try and wear a different outfit every day. Last year my focus was on trousers and summer outfits and shorts and things like that and just trying to find a style that worked for me in terms of bottoms and just for my summer wardrobe because it's always something that I haven't I hadn't really quite got. So I tried to wear something different every day which I did apart from the last day and yeah really really enjoyed it. So this year I would say I have fully complete me made wardrobe, don't need anything else so I want to try something a wee bit different and I'm going to try my first 10 by 10 challenge. <laughs> so first of all for those of you who don't know a 10 by 10 challenge is where you pick 10 items of clothing and it can include shoes and accessories as well and um, that's sort of up to you and that is all that you will wear for 10 days so the key to it the, the biggest the most important part to it is to make sure that you have variety and outfits that work together really well so with doing my wardrobe heroes video there during the week i it kind of gave me a good insight into what it was that works for me and how a lot of my different garments really work together so it kind of made this a wee bit easier and um, I'll link that on the blog post down below as well just in case you've missed it so for this one I am going to be including shoes but not including accessories and to be honest I would wear the same bag every day and the only other thing I would maybe do is add a belt in sometimes to my outfit so I probably realistically could add in those other two items but I thought for my first one I will stick with just clothes and shoes. So the first thing I did was check my forecast <laughs> for the first 10 days of May. I know obviously it could change but just give me a rough idea. There is going to be rain so the first thing I picked was my Sarah Trench because it is waterproof, it has a hood so and it's still quite lightweight so it's perfect for summer so this was yeah this was an easy choice this is the easiest one to do um, and that will be my coat and jacket for the next few days you okay yeah yeah you want to say hello no no okay so there you go then next thing I had to try and figure out was do you want to be wearing boots all week or do you want to be wearing shoes? Because I only wanted to give one spot to shoes. I didn't want to give two. Just to make sure that I have enough options. Although, I'd say I maybe could have added in the extra pair of boots. But what I'm going to go for is my white Veja trainers. So, I do wear these most days anyway. Um, in case you can't see them. So, they're just plain white. I got them for Christmas and I wore them so much. Um, so, yeah. I once I had that picked then I kind of had to work the rest of it around those two items to make sure it would all go together. Now this colour palette here is, this is my colour palette, this is what I love to wear, the blacks, greys, whites, pinks, wee bits of greens thrown in sometimes, um, but yeah this was probably made it a wee bit easier that I do have, I do stick to those same colours um, and meant that I wasn't worrying about you know different items not going together. You know, not having tops to match trousers and that is something that I really have been working on recently is getting that cohesive wardrobe that does all work together tops bottoms dresses jackets making sure everything does work yes so first thing I decided on was what trousers I was going to pick so I think the ideal balance for me in this is two pairs of trousers and then either two dresses and three tops or three dresses and um, two dresses and four tops or three dresses and three tops I think it would probably depend on the weather if I knew it was going to be warm all week I would probably pick four dresses 
because I would need as many layers then but because I don't know what the weather's going to be like it could be cold I wanted to make sure I had some slightly heavier jumpers that I would be able to layer over my dresses if I did need that extra layer so I know I'm also because this is my first one day and first time doing it I want to have some comfort in here too so I knew I was going to be picking my new Bella Loves Patterns Interstellar hoodie and my Luna joggers just in case I need those a couple of comfy days so this here is one outfit that goes together this the joggers also work with my t-shirt and my other sweaters so I know I've got three different outfits that are from these one bottoms which means that I won't be too worried about just being stuck in the same well once I wear these together that's it I can't wear them again and that's it that's the whole point of the challenge so I picked my Luna joggers and then the other one this is easy This was another easy one because I've just fixed my Dawn jeans. I just put the zip in so I knew I would want to be wearing them. So again, when I had picked this, I wanted to make sure that I had different tops that were going to match with it. So my all of these four tops that I've picked here, they will all go with it. So the tops that I picked, I have, this is still wet so it looks different colours at the bottom. Um, my Rose Tencel Jersey Tyra T, um, which I would wear quite a lot, it's one of my favourite items. Then my white Alia shirt because I just love it. Um, I think a lot of this is probably based on my wardrobe clothes video that I did, it was still fresh in my mind. Then my grey Jackson sweater and my hoodie then. So, um yeah so those four tops apart from the shirt and the joggers probably won't go I might try it see if it works but these four tops do more or less go with the trousers so with these items that's seven different different outfits that i can work with just from well from those no so there's yeah from six garments six tops and bottoms i get seven different um the other thing so I've been chatting to someone and um, so Lala on Instagram she has just finished doing a 10 by 10 challenge and what she said was that don't go just for basics it would be very easy to just fill this reel with basics that all match together really really well but after 10 days you might start to get a wee bit bored of what you've picked and um, if there's not much print or colour or anything so I decided to add in two dresses so I have added in my Pauline Alice Sadami dress which I want to try so this can be wore on its own and I can also wear it with my interstellar hoodie and the trainers which I think will then dress it down a wee bit uh, for that look so I wanted to that's why I would usually wear this Felix sweat over it but it feels a wee bit dressier compared to the hoodie so I thought this might be a better way to make it a wee bit more casual to wear with my trainers then and then the other dress I picked, and this still could change, I'm, I'm going to, well I suppose May starts on Monday, so or on Saturday, so I kind of have to make my mind up. Um, I pulled out my Atelier 8 Avril Victoria dress, and I do think it'll be very cute with the trainers, and maybe something that I can wear on like the Sundays, um, if I feel like I want to get dressed up a little bit. I could maybe layer the hoodie over it as an extra outfit or I might even try layering my Jackson sweater over it so that was one of the things um, that I wanted to make sure was that whatever dresses I picked I could get different layers on top of them as well so do I have 10 outfits here <laughs> Um, the other option that I was going to pick if I didn't do this one I'll grab it um, the other option was going to be my Moonshine Daisy Mindy dress. Um, I think whenever I had them all together with this, it just stood out too much. But then I think I could end up swapping it in because I think this could be cute with a belt and my Jackson layered over it. It would be kind of like a midi skirt. Or my other option would be to change this out to a skirt. Maybe I have a printed skirt that would actually work quite well with it and then that would pair with my hoodie and my sweater 
and my t-shirt and the shirt so that could happen to you <laughs> so yeah I will make sure if I do change my mind I will update it but I kind of like the idea as well of playing a bit with this and maybe trying it with a belt and a sweatshirt layered over it um, so yeah I do have so I have my four different outfits with my jeans three different outfits with the joggers I have so that's seven I have the two dresses on their own which is nine and then the dresses can be layered with the hoodie or the jumper so that brings me over ten and um, if I swap this to a skirt I could get even more possibilities from that because you could add it in with all of these yes and um, so yeah one of the main things with the 10 by 10 challenge is obviously to make sure that you can get plenty of different options out of it i will i hope it's going to go well i'm really excited to try it i think it's going to be really interesting um i will i'm going to check the weather again just to make sure it hasn't changed but I think I'm going to keep this in and see because I haven't probably worn as much as I thought I would so it would be nice to see if I can get a wee bit more worried of it and try a few, diff few different um, combinations with it see how I get on. So yeah that is my 10 by 10, 10 items for 10 days and we'll see how successful it is. I really hope it's going to work. <laughs> Um, if it does go well and I do enjoy it, I probably will do at least another one, maybe another two throughout May just to see what other sort of capsule collections that I can come up with and yeah, it's just a fun way to play about, I think, um, yeah, just to make things a wee bit interesting at the moment, why not? Um, and I will probably, by the time this is done, I might have a few more items finished. I have my Black Dawn jeans pulled out, which I am going to be starting to work on soon. And I have a few other dresses and skirts and things um, that hopefully I'll get stuck into as well. So I would love to know what you think. Have you ever done a 10 by 10 challenge? Um, how did it go? Do you have any tips? Um, yeah, leave me a comment and let me know. And I can't wait to see what everyone is going to do for me of May. It's such a fun month to find you kinds to follow and get inspiration so yeah I can't wait to follow along with that so I hope everyone is having a lovely day if you would like to support me and buy me a coffee I will add a link to my coffee page and it's also in the my profile on my Instagram account so I hope everyone's had a lovely day and I will chat to you all soon bye